The grain sample manipulator is a really advanced sampler and granular synthesizer in one, which lets you do some really creative things with samples. Even though it looks quite complicated, it's not actually that difficult to use. It uses samples as the basis for its sound generation, so you could either load a sample from your computer or you can load a sample straight into the instrument itself. You can then choose various types of sample playback modes and algorithms to manipulate and process the sound. You could also even use it as a traditional sampler and just playback samples like you normally would. There are several filter and modifier algorithms that make it possible to modulate and control the sound even more. The envelope section and the modulation bus section also allow for the detailed and flexible modulation and control of sound. You even get a little multi-effect section down at the bottom here to spice things up a bit. Granular synthesis breaks sound down into individual grains, kind of like small snippets of audio data which it extracts from an audio sample, and you can control the length of these and their spacing. It's also non-linear so you don't have to play the sample back from start to finish, you can pick the grains out from anywhere inside the sample. At the top here, you have the sample waveform readout. You can see that as well as being able to choose individual patches as normal, you can also choose individual samples. You can also sample directly into the instrument using the sampling button here. This section here is the grain processing selection section which is where you tell the instrument how to analyse and extract the grains from the sample. And each of these offers a different kind of effect. And of course, each one has its own set of controls. So that's pretty weird. There's also a filter section, an ADSR section, and along the base here, an envelope section, LFO, and then a modulation bus, so that you can assign various different modulation sources to other parts of the synthesizer. If I was to just load up a preset here, you can hear some of the different things that this synth is capable of. It's kind of atmospheric, it's moody, it's weird. And you can see that the instrument is playing back a section of the waveform of the sample. I could change the length of that section, I could move it around using these markers here. So maybe I just want it to use that part. Maybe I want it to use a really tiny section. I can change the way that it loops. I can change its speed. Let's have a look at how you can tweak these settings to change your sound. 